Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we like to present to you all assignment two. Prepared by me two one one zero 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 three North Afrik Ben Ahmad Saufi and me two one one o o three nine Muhammad Syahri Ben Mai. Our topic today is effect of input noise on cooperator operation and the subtopic is the reducing noise effect with hysteresis. Okay, in in practical situation noise appear on the input signal. This noise voltage disturb it disturb the input voltage as shown in figure 3 like this so we can see the signal destroyed by noise and cook super impulse noise at the sine wave signal due the time and this pulls uh, a cooperator to electrical switch output state for the next slide, uh, in order to understand its effects, consider a zero level detector and a sinusoidal voltage input at the non inverting input of the comparator as shown in figure 4a. We can look at the image V in uh, applied to the non inverting that uh, plus sign. Okay, next slide, uh, figure 4b show the input sine waves and the result and the resulting output voltage when the input voltage reaches zero the disturbance due to the noise may cause the input to fluctuate above the zero voltage value many times and this does producing an output that is not the desired one so we refer to the figure 4 b that's this uh what called we don't need about zero voltage so because it goes many time and this not good for a comparator and this call projecting an electrical output voltage okay we have done uh, the briefing of effect of input noise on comparator operation and then we can move to the subtopic they are reducing noise effect with hysteresis Okay, the first point here is the the output as seen in figure 4b is because whenever the input signal over around the reference voltage, any small disturbance like noise will produce such output. Next. To, redu uh, to reduce the noise effect, a technique called hysteresis is used. Yes, yes. And then this requires the comparator to be used with positive feedback. And then the 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 idea is to have two different voltages. One reference is higher and the another is lower. Higher and lower. Higher and lower. You know that. Okay. The next point is the higher reference is for when the input signal goes from lower voltage to higher one and the lower reference is for when input signal goes from higher to lower voltage okay thank you Nopi then uh, the two reference are called upper trigger point UTP and lower trigger point LTP UTP and LTP so next these two level hysteresis is established with the positive feedback as shown in figure 5 okay. this is figure 5 ok this is figure 5 and we we can look that the circuit of positive feedback and this uh, comparator and we can see uh, two resistors here R1 and R2 <laughs> the next point is ok notice that the non-inverting end is connected to a resistive voltage divider such that a portion of the output voltage is feedback to the input the input signal is applied to the inverting input in this case the uh, inverting input is the negative sign 
and the non inverting is the positive sign waiting for the next slide Boy. waiting for the next slide okay this the basic operation of the comparator with hysteresis is shown in figure 6 this is the figure See. okay first we look uh, at the first when the maximum what when the maximum uh, positive voltage that the output voltage reach the or uh, accept the UTP the output switch okay we can see the output switch go to the negative sign so negative value and then okay for the for these figures when the output at the maximum negative voltage and the input goes below the LTP here the output switch back to the maximum positive voltage you can look here there are such a different here there are change from positive to negative and this for negative to positive and the next figures shown and shown and the next figure shown uh, that when uh, a point reached by UTP or LTP is uh, reached this is uh, immunity to the noise that is reading on the input signal so we can conclude that uh, positive uh, positive what positive feedback can reduce the noise effect with hysteresis okay for the next slide is the basically about the formula uh, for the first point here we assume that the output voltage is at its positive maximum. There are positive V out max. The voltage feedback to the non inverting input is VUTP and it is given as VUTP equal to R2 over R1 plus R2 times to positive V out max. Remember the positive V out. Okay, after that when we in accept VUTP the voltage sorry uh, the voltage output drop to it negative maximum negative we see here negative V out maximum as shown in figure 6a the voltage feedback to the non inverting input is VLTP and if given as so we can look here that, that formula uh, differently, uh, be, uh, differently, uh, because when LTP we notice that this negative sign V out maximum. Uh, so we notice that uh, this we use uh, R two resistance two. Uh, before that, uh, we UTP we use uh, R one and positive V in V output maximum. Basically, <coughs> the formula is about the <coughs> voltage divider rule. Okay. The input voltage must now fall below VLTP as shown in figure 6B before the device will switch from the maximum negative voltage to maximum positive voltage. This means that a small amount of noise voltage has no effect on the output as shown in figure C. C. The comparator with built in hysteresis is sometimes known as a seismic trigger. The amount of hysteresis is defined as the difference of two trigger levels. There are formula here V hysteresis equal to VUTP minus VLTP. Okay, you mentioned that. Uh, Upper minus lower, okay. Just upper minus lower to get a hysteresis. Yeah. Okay, for our main difference, we use uh, electronic device boot. Uh, this uh, conversion current version, uh, nice addition by plot. We use phase six seven six seven one until six seven three. Okay. Thank you for 
your attention. Au revoir.